Hi kids, this is our second Easter lesson. We did the first one if you weren't able to listen and we talked about Luke 22. And in that chapter, the Bible tells us the story before Christ was gonna die. And so there were lots of events that led up to Christ dying, which is what we're gonna talk about today. Um, we also learned that the time that Jesus was preparing to die was the time of Passover. And we learned that that was very important because we were able to see that Jesus picked that time for him to die to show us that he was the Passover lamb, the lamb without anything wrong with it, the perfect lamb that was going to be once for all sacrificed to pay for the sins of the whole world. So we're going to be talking about now Jesus dying on the cross and some things that happened during that time. We're going to fill out this little word map, I like to call it. It's going to help us go through the whole story. So if you've never done one of these, um, I think you might actually enjoy getting at your own piece of paper and you're going to see it right here. And so we're going to fill in some of the words for you. And then what's nice about this is you can fill it all in and then you can use it to tell the story too. Now I filled in some of them for us. So we're talking about Jesus when he died on the cross. And so we're going to review a couple things about him. We know that he's fully God and fully man. And so because of that, he was able to be the holy, without sin, sacrifice. Yet because he was man, he was able to die in our place. And so this big word, the R word, is righteous. Righteous means he was without sin. So Jesus was able to pay for our sin because he had no sin. And we're going to look at two parts of his righteousness. We're going to look at how he was without sin while he suffered. So we're going to write here on the S, we're going to say that he was a righteous sufferer. So it's going to have a little ending. So the first thing that we're going to talk about and how he showed that he was without sin was during the time when they came to arrest him. If you remember, they were in the garden with his disciples. Jesus was there praying and his disciples, remember, fell asleep. And that is when Judas Iscariot is going to bring the soldiers and they had swords and clubs, they were coming like maybe there would be a fight or somebody would, you know, try to fight. But Jesus did not do that. He was peaceful. So our P is going to stand for peaceful. So that's how Jesus was without sin when he was a sufferer. He was peaceful. Somebody that was maybe coming after you, you might want to try to get away or you might hit him back, but that is not what Jesus did at all. The second um, way we see that Jesus was righteous was how he was faithful. So our F is faithful. He was faithful to Peter. When you remember that Jesus had warned Peter that he would deny him or he would pretend that he didn't know Jesus, Peter said, oh, no, no, I would never do that. And right after they took Jesus in the garden, that's what happened to Peter. He got asked, oh, don't you know Peter? 
or don't Peter, don't you know Jesus? Um, no, no, I I don't I don't know what you're talking about. And remember that happened three times and Jesus said it would happen three times. And then do you remember the rooster crowed and he knew that he had done exactly what Jesus said. And there's um, a place in Luke 22 that I think you should look up. Um, it talks about a look that Jesus gave Peter right after it. So Peter had followed when they took Jesus, and he would followed and tried to um, keep um, up with them, but stayed back so he wouldn't get caught. And so Jesus was able to see him, and there was a look. And Peter knew that Jesus was still loving him, even though he had denied Christ. Jesus was faithful to love Peter. The third way that we see Jesus was without sin is the T stands for truthful. All during that trial, there were many things that were done that were not actually the right way to go about a trial. And Jesus always answered truthfully. And even though the trial itself was not done in a right way, Jesus is always truthful. Even in that moment when it would have seemed very unfair if you knew that they were saying things about you that weren't true, Jesus remained truthful and he did not sin during that time. Now the other part we're going to look here on this other side, the other S is going to be that Jesus is our righteous substitute. So I'm going to write that here. So he's our righteous substitute. So we kind of know that that would mean instead of me having to pay for my sin, I don't have to pay my, for my sin. Jesus did that for me. And so we're going to look at how he was righteous when he did this. So we're going to look at the first C, and this one is going to stand for he was compassionate. So I'll write that up here. So he was compassionate. Jesus, remember, had been beaten, and the Bible tells us he was even too weak to carry his cross. Usually the, the person that, they were, that was on trial would have had to carry their own cross, but Jesus was too weak to do that. Yet Jesus was concerned about the people of Israel and how they were going to be judged for not believing in him, and he was compassionate for them. The other letter you see here is M, and when he was our righteous substitute, he showed mercy. We're going to say he was merciful. Now, one example that I'm thinking of, especially during this part of the story is, do you remember when um, the soldiers were doing terrible things to them? He prayed for them that God would forgive them because they didn't know what they were doing. So he, acting as God in that moment, was asking for mercy for them. So he showed mercy even in those moments when if we had someone doing something bad to us, we kind of want to do something bad back to them. But Jesus did not sin. He was righteous, and he showed mercy. The last letter on this one 
is that he was innocent. So we're going to fill in that word, innocent. I had a little thing happen with my computer, so I'm going to get it back up. So he was innocent in all of this, and yet he was accused of doing wrong. But we know that Jesus was without sin, and he hadn't done anything wrong. So he was innocent. So this reminds us, this little map, can remind us about Jesus' death, and you can kind of tell the story using this. So the thing that I really want you to remember about this is because Jesus was fully God and fully man, he was righteous or without sin. And so he was able to respond in this time of his death as it was very horrible, like probably one of the most horrible deaths that we would learn about, yet because of his being fully God and without sin, he was able to respond in all these ways, in a peaceful way, in a faithful way to Peter, in a truthful way, in a compassionate way, merciful, and innocent. 